guys, welcome back to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel, and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video, as the title says above, is part two to how I stay organized with all of my Bible studies and my readings and things like that. There will be a part three, but um, part one, I was just talking with you guys about what I use, such as... Uh, uh, to-do list um, using Evernote, a dry erase board, and planners. This part I'm actually showing you guys how I actually plan in my day designers. Um, so I show you guys the monthly setup in my new day designer that works from July 2018 to June 2019 as these are academic planners. And then I show you the daily setup for June 4th um, in my old one which goes from July 2017 to June 2018. So this planner is completely done at the end of June, and then I'll be moving into this planner. So I will have more updated, uh, I guess, plan with me's every now and then, probably once a month. I'll try to do something like that. But um, I walked you guys through a weekly setup, not a weekly setup, sorry, a daily setup as this is a daily planner, and show you guys how I schedule in all of my to-dos and schedule in my Bible studies and stuff like that. So if you want to see this video, stay tuned, and if not, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Hey guys, so now it is part two, as I said in the intro, and I'm basically showing you guys how I do my monthly and daily planning and how I schedule in my studies and devotionals and things like that. So this is my day designer. Oh, I'm sorry about that, moving the camera. But this is my day designer for July 2018 to June 2019. And I've used this one to show you guys how I do my monthly planning just because this has um, the months of June and Jul um, sorry, May and June in here. So this is a day designer, like I said. This is their more affordable planner. This was about 30 bucks or so. And um, it's a really, really nice daily planner. So this is how the design looks. This is called the Deep Blue Spotty. And um, they do have a smaller version like this, but it has like a pale pink color. It's so pretty and it has a gold foil with the gold kind of spiral rings. I haven't filled out the per personal information information yet, but um, like I said, it's called the Deep Blue Spotty. It says it down here. It comes with a ruler, which I already have mine inside. Um, you have your reference calendars. Oops, sorry, you guys can't see that. But um, you have your reference calendars here for 2018 and 2019. And what I like to do is just pop stickers over the top of each month. Um, so I'm actually going to do that right now with you guys on camera. If I can find some stickers quickly. Probably not these stickers. But um, probably the next time you guys see this video um this planner you'll see that these months are kind of covered but um this also comes now with gold foil stickers you get two of those two pages of those then it has a pocket folder which i am loving i'm going to stick some of my stickers in here let me try to get this over okay you have your story kind of um by whitney english about the creation of this planner then you get four goal setting sheets so start with the big picture set your goals design your days and stay on course then you have the month of May which I'm gonna go back and write stuff in but not decorate and then here is June so we are in the month of June it's June 1st right now so it's National Donut Day so I just stuck a little cute donut um, Saturday I'm going food shopping my birthday is on June 3rd I'm gonna be 27 can't wait and I have to work at the salon so I put the money symbol as well as salon at 2 p.m. And I just put this little cute girl that I got from some stickers. I love stickers, you guys. I'm a sticker fanatic. And I like using, like, um, these, I guess, kawaii-style stickers, Japanese kind of stickers in my planners. I just love those. So, um, I just popped a sticker here, which I printed out on my own. It just says, be truly glad there is wonderful joy ahead, First Peter 1 and 6. And, um, yeah, so... Here's the ruler, like I said, for the day designer. But on the 6th, we're going to be finishing up Esther chapters 9 and 10, which I'm so excited about. We're going to be diving into that. I have an appointment on the 8th to finally finish this root canal. They called me back today. Thank God. Um, the 15th, my son's school is having a Father's Day social at 2 p.m. The 17th, we are starting the chronological Bible study with Angela over in her group, Transform Through God's Word. So if you're not a part of that and you want to join this, definitely... Um, check that out i think she's still no actually she's not taking any more signups 
but I'm, I'm pretty sure we can work something out where we can do a study like this down the line. On the 18th, my son has his last school trip. He's going to Turtleback Zoo, which I'm going to be going with him. Then he has his end of the year party on the 21st. The 23rd, I'm hanging out with some of the girls in my sister's uh, wedding. I'm a bridesmaid, so we're having a dress fitting for the bridesmaids. The 25th is the last day of school, and then there's no school from the 26th on. Um, I also need to make a note here, actually, because I have to pick up my son's information for school. So... Oh, it's right here on the floor. I'm like, I know I'm missing something. Okay, so I'm going to take one of these. I'm going to take the orange one. It's kind of like a corner sticker, and I'm just going to pop it in the corner. Because this is a day that I have to pick up my son's information for next year. Because his school is a two-year school commitment. So once they enter for one year, they have to stay in for two years. Because the school is a pre-K kindergarten school. So that day is the day I have to pick up that information. But that's just a monthly view of how it looks. Um, You know, I do my monthlies different every month. But I wanted to really get back into planning like I used to. So over here, I'm probably just going to jot down some video ideas. I just haven't had the chance to think about any of those. And then I normally will highlight important days over here. So, I'm going to take I don't know. I'm going to take this purple Sharpie highlighter because it comes off a little bit lavender and I'm going to highlight some days in July. So, we have the 10th, the 19th, the 7th. I think that's it. I think those are the only 3 days I really wanted to mark. To keep my oh nope the first and the third as well the first because we're starting um cling book club and the third because we're starting john so yeah um so that's june right there and this is in the new planner that i'm going to be using come july but that's that one and again this is the deep blue spotty so i'm going to show you guys my daily and um my old one from day designer so this is the one from target that you can get or on the blue sky website the blue spotty you can only find at staples i think but this one you can get on at target or on the blue sky website but um, i'll leave links down below and let me quickly show you guys my march um march i kind of had the same washi going and stuff like that but um i have my video ideas here which i actually did do a lot of these videos um, but I had like when we started Fervent, um, which I wrote down, when we did Ruth, um, I had School of Prayer that I was going to, which was basically a School of Intercessory Prayer, which I loved. And you guys can see July and, I mean, June in this planner sucks. It's nothing here, like, just these two, three, but these two are actually switched around, so yeah. So I'm going to be showing you guys Monday, to, um, June 4th, I don't know why I want to say July, but Monday, June 4th fourth and um let's quickly zoom in all right so i zoomed in for you guys so here it is sorry about the glare with the stickers hopefully that works a little better but um here we go so I have my stickers all laid out and I love using a bunch of stickers. Um, so I can show you guys a few sticker packs that I've been using. I use some of these, uh, I think they're called Momo stickers. But again, they're kawaii style stickers. I just love these so I use those quite a lot in my planners like I said. Oopsie. And then I have a ton of these Happy Planner stickers because I used to have a Happy Planner. Um, and then I have this one pack here from Recollections that is their Faith sticker pack. So um, this sticker and this sticker here I got from some Etsy sellers that I still have a bunch of stickers of. Um, His Grace is Sufficient, the Prayer Hand, and then the little Bible I got from this Recollections Faith sticker book. Um, I bought two of these. It wasn't what I expected, but I am going to use it. It's really nice. So that's that. The washi tape is just this kind of floral washi. I ordered this from an Etsy seller in the Netherlands, so I can't tell you guys where to get it from. 
I got my glitter washi. I got this from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree does sell washi tape, if you did not know. Um, this little kind of banner flag here I got from this pack from um, the Happy Planner stickers. It's kind of like the neutral set, and I got it from this page here. I'm thinking about using this one. This is a watercolor set. I'm not sure, so I have this out still. But um, I also got this from this pack here, I think. Did I get it from here? Nope. Where'd it go? If I'm not mistaken, I got that one from in this one. Yeah. So this one came from this one from Happy Planner. This sticker is a printable that I made myself. Um, the Bible study sticker is from this pack here, which is the Faith Planner kind of faith sticker pack, which I'm obsessed with. I have two of these. These stickers are phenomenal, you guys. If you're looking for some really nice spiritual stickers, definitely check these out. They're really great. I hope they come out with a second edition because this is awesome. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Um, I have the mom sticker pack and then the watercolor sticker pack here just in case I need to remember anything. But I'm going to basically show you guys now how I schedule in my day. I need my pen. So I use normally use a blue Pentel pen, but because I have these stickers, I'm going to use black ink today. So I'm using my Sharpie pen as well as my Pentel RSVP pen. And basically, I'm going to start off with my schedule. So, oh, the coffee cup is actually from the mom pack. Sorry, I knew I had something from the mom pack. Something on the second page. Yeah, the second page has like these bubble teas and coffee cups. So, I had that. So, I'm just going to say good morning. I normally actually wake up about 5.45, 5-ish. Um, but I my plan starts at 6, obviously. So, just going to move this over. And I'm just literally writing good morning. <laughs> I don't know why I'm writing it with this pen, but whatever. We're just going to go with this pen. Good morning. Um, 6.30, I want to do my devotionals. And when I say devotionals, I mean like my Our Daily Bread devotional and my In Touch devotionals. So... I'm just going to write devotional time. Because I don't wake my son up until 7-ish. So um, I figured that's why I wake up at 5 to get things done. Um, so for 7.30, 8 o'clock, I have this flag. And we, my son and I normally leave the house about 7.45 to get him to school. Because school actually starts from 8.30 to 3. I don't know why I have this at 3.30. But I need to fix that. Um, it should be at 3. But yeah, his, he goes to school from 8.30 to 3. And um, you can get him there before 8 to go to, like, the play area. So, I'm just going to say Chris School because that's all I write. Chris to school. Now, between 9 and um, 11, I like to record my videos. So, I'm just going to put record. And I try to knock out two videos if possible. So I'm just going to number it so that um, I can decide as I get closer to the June 4th of what videos I want to make. Um, now down here at the 7, 7.30 area, I have a dishwashing kind of soap <laughs> sticker. So I'm just going to write dishes because my mom likes to have the dishes done before a certain time in the house and that's pretty much my chore so um, I'm going to put it at 7.30 actually no 7 o'clock clean dishes and then at the 8 o'clock area I have a bible study sticker and this is where I'm going to squeeze in my mark study I don't know what chapter of mark I will be on because I'm actually diving into ch um, chapter 2 today and today's June 1st so okay so for top 3 um, I have this little vacuum here and it's just to clean house I need to clean the bathroom do the um 
the kitchen and stuff like that. So, clean house. Um, I have prayer hands here because I like to do intercessory prayer for people and I keep that as a priority. So, I'm going to write intercessory prayer. Intercessory prayer. And here, I like to make sure that I write down whatever book of the Bible I'm studying. So I'm just going to write Mark. So I'm just writing Mark because I don't know what book of Mark I'll be in. So that's that. So then we get into my actual to-dos for the day. So we're still on battle plan of prayer. So I'm just writing battle plan. chapter 31 because we're actually in the final week of reading that which is insane guys insane um and then i also have to do battle plan week seven session and then i also want to do day one because i'm in church all day on sundays but um this sunday i won't be but i don't know if i'm going to be able to get that done so, so I'm going to be reading chapter 31 of Battle Plan of Prayer, and then for the Battle Plan of Prayer Bible Study, I have to do session 7 as well as day 1 in week 7. So I put week 7 and then week 7, day 1, so that I know. Um, okay, so, that is that. I think uh, for the videos, I'm, I'm deciding on the videos that I wanted to do. I'm going to do a study with me video. Um, so... Study with me, and um, I'm not sure what it's gonna be on, but I want to do a study with me video, and then I'm gonna do a video on all of my Bible study resources. So, those are the videos. I'm sorry, let me autofocus this camera, okay. So I have that set. Um, what else needs to get done? I can move this out the way for now. And I want to start a um, new study guide. So the one that I picked is this one. It is 12 Women of the Bible, Life-Changing Stories for Women Today. It's a study guide by Sherry Harney. And um, there are a bunch of women, such as Lisa Turkhurst, Eliza or Alicia Morgan I don't know how to pronounce that or those other ones but um yeah it's this and then I have an app called study gateway on my phone um so I have it here it's called study gateway and um sorry guys you basically can um watch a lot of online bible studies and i think it's 7.95 um seven dollars and 95 cents per month um right now they, they had a summer special um back in may that i got up on and so i re-signed up using that code <laughs> but um yeah i used to love doing this i did uninvited with them on this but um yeah and currently this is my watch list that i have with them but uh there is the second one as well, which I do, I actually just got that in the mail. It was a birthday gift to myself that I had got this one. That's the second one, but this one is here. So it comes with all the sessions you need. So there are 12 sessions. If you guys can see. And I'm going to be starting this on the 4th. So I decided to start this. Um, I actually might start tonight, who knows. But, um... Yeah, I have that. So I do want to mark this one down. So I'm going to use the watercolor sticker pack from Create365. And just look through here. Okay, first of all, I want to take this binge watch um, sticker. If I can get it off the paper... So it says binge watch and I'm going to put that at about the one o'clock ish time. 
Eh. I don't want it to look like that per se. So. Okay, binge watch. Because that's honestly the time that I like to watch some of my animes. And I do like anime shows, so you might think I'm crazy for that. <laughs> but I do enjoy anime cartoons. And um, I'm going to take one of these asterisk symbols. I'm trying to figure out which one I want to use. Because I want to put some more green. So I'm probably going to go with a lighter green, I guess. If I can get it up without ripping it, uh, that wasn't the best. But I have it, and I'm going to put that... Oh, I didn't let this dry long enough. So it kind of wiped off. Yeah, it kind of wiped off just a bit, but whatever. It doesn't bother me. Then I have this asterisk, like I said, and I'm going to put this right under that sticker um, I'm gonna write 12 women of the Bible okay so for the rest of my day like I said I have battle plan here three of those because I'm not sure what I'm gonna get to one Sunday since I have to work so, um, that's why I have that like that. So, I need to watch Grace Like a Flood. I don't know if it's going to be um, the third one or the fourth one. So, I'm just going to leave it like that until it is Sunday night. Um, I need to read Women of the Word. Which is a book that I'm currently reading outside of book club. Woman of the Word. Chapter. I'm not going to say what chapter. I need to schedule in Tuesday's video. Put away laundry because I'm doing laundry on Sunday before going to work. Put away laundry. I need to clean my makeup brushes. Um, I'm going to also write down this study. I like to also put them on to-do list outside of the schedule. So that way I know I'm getting them done and I can check them off as I move along. So... I'm just flipping through this quickly to see. Okay, yeah, so they're not that long. These sessions are not really that long. Um, so I have that. Um, and as you can see, I really just have all of my uh, faith-based items on here on this list. Um, my devotionals on the Bible app. Let me just write Bible app because I like to make sure I log on once a day. Um, even if it's just to simply read the verse of the day. So let me just open up mine here. I'm not sure if there's a study that I want to do or not. Um, oh yeah, there actually is a study that I'm doing. I actually just started this one, She 31, Woman of Valor. Um, but I want to do a chronological one as I'm going through the chronological study with Angela. I think this is the only one I've seen a lot of people doing this plan, but... Yeah, see, no, I don't want to do that, so... 
Bible app, um, devotionals, I mean, for right now, that's all that I can honestly think of, but this is pretty much how I schedule in um, my Bible study sessions. I do my devotionals in the morning, um, and that includes the Our Daily Bread and In Touch, but then I also, in between my time, um, like when I'm picking my son up or I'm on the bus, I will do my devotionals on the Bible app. Um, I schedule in my recording sessions and whatever studies that need to be done. I have shows that I know for sure that I need to watch on Monday. I know that for a fact, but I can't remember what they're what they're called, so I have to wait. Um, and then down here, I have in my Bible study for Mark. Hope you guys that my Bible study for Mark there. But um, that is pretty much how I plan it in and schedule everything. And you guys, like I said, it's nothing elaborate. I literally just use the hourly, the um, the today's schedule in thirty minute increments to get the important things that I want to do down and then whatever else that I don't want to put in a specific time area I will put on the to-do list and um, do it like that and again I do have my dry erase board that I actually mounted onto my wall that is right next to me that I can look at and check off things as I go on throughout the day um, so I have multiple things out and about you guys but um, this is pretty much how I plan a day on top of planning out my month so I'm gonna show you guys if I can move all of this stuff out the way quickly so again this is my monthly view Bible studies that are like key that I'm going to be doing are the chronological study with Angela over in her group, Transform Through God's Word, and then the Esther chapters 9 and 10 study. Um, pretty much it. I probably should put another sticker here, actually, because I'm starting the 12 women Bible study. So I'm just looking in the faith sticker pack for one. Sorry if you guys hear my brother. I apologize about that. He is extremely loud. Um, on the 4th, I'm just going to pop that there and just write in what the study is. So, um, 12 women of the, is it of the word or of the Bible? <laughs> of the Bible. So yeah, that is it, you guys, for how I plan. I hope this was helpful. Um, I used to do a lot of plan with me's on my beauty channel, but that's pretty much how I schedule things in on the monthly view as well as on um, a daily kind of layout. Sorry, you guys can't even see that. Including a daily kind of layout. Now, I will have a separate video for how I utilize this beautiful planner here which is the faith Cycle planner from recollections i'm gonna do a video on that but um i have my july already done which i'm gonna go back in obviously and decorate and stuff like that but um i'll have a more in-depth video towards the end of june on this planner of how i'm gonna utilize it because i'm not sure um how i want to use this just yet but that's that you guys i hope this video was helpful for those of you who are interested in how i stay organized and um, how I schedule everything into my day. It's pretty, like I said, pretty simple. It's nothing over the top or crazy. I use to-do list. Um, sorry, you guys can't see that. But I use a to-do list, an hourly schedule kind of thing. And then I use the monthly view on my planner. I use my cell phone and I use a dry erase board. Um, so that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.